Greetings, pen pals. I have a pen from S.T. DuPont. Now, I'm going to pronounce it DuPont because I'm an American. Um, the, I believe the proper French pronunciation is something like DuPont. Uh, I will not be pronouncing it that again, way again or even attempting to because A, it's difficult for me and B, I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. So anyway, this is from S.T. DuPont. Uh, it is a French company that is probably more famous for things like cigarette lighters than they offer pens, but they do make quite a bit of pens. Um, this one is called the Line D Pen. Um, this pen was actually bought by my wife at the Long Island Pen Show in the first week of March of 2020. So that was the last pen show that I attended. Um, I'm going to be going to another one very, very shortly. So I have, my, I have every intention of going to the Commonwealth Pen Show in Massachusetts in mid-September. And that will be my first pen show since the Long Island Pen Show in uh, early 2020. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So anyway, this pen was bought by my wife at that show. Uh, she hasn't used it yet. She hasn't written with it yet, etc. So uh, she uh, hasn't gone back to her office yet. She's not going back to her office for about another six weeks or so. Um, so for working at home, she uh, hasn't been using uh, too many nice pens or fountain pens, etc. But um, so I decided, you know, rather than just let it sit and collect dust for even longer, it's been a year and a half or so, I am going to uh, take it out, ink it up, and make a video of it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So this is a quite a nice pen. Um, from ST DuPont. It's a heavy pen. It weighs in at 53 grams. It's all metal and lacquer, and it's a hefty, hefty pen. Uh, Size-wise, um, it's uh, no slouch either. Not a small pen, but um, pretty, pretty, uh, uh, you know, typical size pen. Here it is sized up with a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, it's just a tiny, tiny bit longer than these guys, and it's got some decent um, girth to it uh, as uh, as well. It, uh, from the exterior of the pen, it's got this nice uh, blue enamel. This particular color is called Windsor Blue. It's a very, very dark blue. Um, and then it's got alternating with this sort of uh, uh, metal with um, sort of fairly heavy reading, which is exposed. And the reading is on the cap and on the barrel, but they kind of rotate freely. There is no mechanism to ensure that the reading lines up. So you, if you want this to sort of all line up, you kind of have to do it yourself because it doesn't, it doesn't really, there's not, no mechanism in place to enforce that. Um, around the top of the barrel, so this is not a cap band, this is around the top of the barrel. It's heavily engraved, sort of a deep engraving, says ST DuPont and Paris. Um, the clip itself is a really nice substantial clip. It's got sort of this little inset shield design. Um, and it's uh, very nicely spring-loaded uh, and functions uh, uh, very, very uh, nicely. Um, the top of the cap has the very typical DuPont D uh, inset uh, with a little sort of acrylic uh, dome on top of it. The distal end of the pen is somewhat complementary to the cap, but nothing special, just sort of uh, plain, plain metal. It is a pull-to-uncap pen. Now, the the sound when you put it back on, when you click the cap on, the clicking sound, I'm going to do, do it right against the microphone here so you guys can hear it. I'll do it again. So that doesn't sound like any special kind of click to me, but the marketing that DuPont uh, uh, gives you says that that's meant to mimic the clicking sound that a DuPont cigarette lighter makes. Uh, that's neither here nor there to me. I, I don't think I've ever owned a cigarette lighter. <laughs> um... So uh, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be able to confirm that, but in any case, that's that's what they say about the clicking. So it is a click to uh, it does it's a nice solid click, and it also clicks a little bit when you post it. And it does post, um, and it's, it's it's fairly it's a heavy pen, so it's got a decent amount of back weighting when you when you post it. Again, it's pretty it's fairly long, uh, unposted, but I am a big fan of posting, and I do like to post my pens. This section is quite nice. It's a long section but it is a smooth metal section so for those of you who have a that's a deal breaker a smooth metal section uh you know that might be a problem for you but it's a nice long tapered smooth metal section with a really significant flare at the end this edge here which on a lot of other pens would be sort of sharp is only 
sort of moderately prominent here. It's uh, they do that quite nicely. Comes up to our nib, which is a 14 karat gold nib. It has that little same shield type design that's on the uh, end of the end of the uh, clip. It has the D for Dupont, and it says 585 14K and an M for medium in uh, this in this case, and it has an uninspiring plastic feed. This pen is cartridge converter filled, uh, and given that it is all metal all over the place, you will not be um, uh, eyedropping this ever at any time. Um, so that is this pen here. That's pretty much the parts of the pen. I think it's a very, very nice, uh, very smart looking, super, super classy, super elegant, sort of high end, very sort of executive looking pen. It is priced accordingly, so this is this is not a cheap pen. It's several hundred dollars. Um, uh, uh, Dupont pens do not come uh, uh, cheap. They are, uh, you know, fancy, fancy French stuff. So that's basically what you're looking at here. Um, so that's pretty much the parts and features of this uh, of this pen. But of course, as we always said, pens were meant to write. I'm quite sure you want to see how this pen writes. So I'm going to show you that right now. All right, folks, what we're writing with here today is an S. T. DuPont. And this particular uh, model is called the Line D. And uh, this has a 14 carat uh, nib in medium. This really, really writes well. This is extremely smooth. It has really great flow. I'd say it is definitely above average in wetness, which I, which I like. Um, it is just really, really great. Um, my wife actually has several ST DuPont pens, and I would say um, they all write equally well. I mean, the nibs are just extraordinarily smooth and great flowing on, um, on, uh, on all of them. Um, super, super nice, nice, uh, riders again, really, really, really smooth. And this is a, a solid medium. I think this is well labeled. I would definitely think this writes like a medium, a medium, uh, should. Um, so that's, um, pretty much uh, all I have to say about this particular pen. Really, really nice pen. What would be really, really nice as well is if you kind folks could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would be much appreciated by me. So anyway, that's this pen. Uh, let's talk about this ink now for a minute, shall we? All right, this ink is from Diamine, and this is Diamine 1864 Blue Black. So this is one of those blue blacks that definitely leans more towards the black than the blue. I mean, it's definitely a blue black. It is not a, a, just a plain, straight up black ink uh, by any means, but... Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's definitely leans more towards uh, black. We can compare it to some other blue-black inks. So here it is compared to uh, Colorverse Apollo 11. As you can see, it's, it's you know, it's somewhat similar to that ink. Um, here it is compared to Noodler's Air Core Blue-Black, which is definitely more of a greener ink. Uh, here is Pilot Blue-Black, which is definitely bluer. And colorburst blue black, which is um, which is uh, bluer uh, uh, even still. And we can also take a look at uh, Lamy blue black, which is um, a little more of a aqua color. So this is like I said, this is one of those blue blacks that I think definitely definitely uh, lends itself more towards the black side of uh, black side of things. Anyway, that's what this uh, really nice ink looks like um, uh, here. Let's take a quick uh, look at what it looks like on Tomorrow River paper, shall we? All right, like I said, what we have here is uh, Diamine. 
1864 blue black and like I said this this is very very black looking but um, you know it it uh, it definitely is a blue black it's just a very very dark one and a very, one with a lot more black than blue I think but it definitely has some nice character to it I, I, I like this ink uh, this ink quite a bit um, well I think that'll just about do it for this episode pretty nice pen this week I hope you enjoyed watching this because I sure enjoyed making it for you folks and as always until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.